which is shepherded by a preacher, which is a shepherded by a preacher, a counselor, a Bible teacher, and a missionary. The one who is passionate to help thousands of people he meets to experience a victorious Christian life and to prepare for the soon return of Jesus Christ. And that is none other than our very own Pastor Jeffrey. Mvundis, please speak to us. We are listening. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I, I trust that you are doing well. Thank you so much, Sister Tuli, and uh, patience for the prayer. It's indeed my pleasure to connect with all of you uh, this morning. Welcome to this ses uh, session again. I think the third session. And I'm so much excited. Come on, just, just, just let's do what we did yesterday. Just write to me good morning. Just write to me good morning. Just write good morning. Come on, get to the chat section and just say good morning. Uh, that's, that's your word. That's your word. <laughs> that's, that's your word. That's your word. It's, it's, it's my pleasure to come to you. Some of you could be uh, still in, uh, tucked in your bed. Some of you could be running around the house trying to prepare for the day. Some of you could be driving to work. Some of you could, could, could be doing you know, stuff. Some of you are seated just to work. But whatever posture and position that you find yourself in, I'm so much excited to, to come to you once again this morning. Come on, keep them coming. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Mufundi. I can see them. Good morning, Pastor, and all good morning, good morning. Sakuona. Um, come on, keep them coming, keep them coming. That excites me this morning. It's warming my heart uh, this morning. We want to thank God once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the privilege that we have uh, to listen to his word and to share and to commune together and to fellowship with one another. Uh, one room, I consulted the dictionary. The dictionary tells me it's, it's a building, it's, 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 it's a room. It's a room in a military headquarters or building in which activities are directed and decisions are made and strategies are planned. So very, very important, very important, very important. On, on Sunday, we looked, we're trying to build some strategy. On, on Sunday, we looked at the first strategy. We say, don't waste your punches. And on Monday, that's yesterday, we looked at number two, we say, starve the dog, starve the dog. And this morning, it's an easy one, it's an easy one, fight back, fight back. It's an easy one this morning, fight back fight back uh the last the last time i fought with someone was in high school i think i was in the first year in my high school a student attacked me for for whatever reason for whatever reason the student attacked me and i had to fight back because i discovered if i did not fight back i would be i would be in trouble I had to fight back to defend myself. I had to fight back to defend myself. Let's pray. Dear loving Father, we thank you so much this morning for the privilege to listen to your word in the coolness and the stillness of this moment. Talk to us now, Lord, and touch our lives for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There was, there was a boy named Jack who... When he went to school, he was confronted by a bully who would demand his lunch money. Okay, so he goes to school and every day there is this bully who wants his money <laughs> that was meant for lunch. And, and this, uh, this happened day after day after day. And, and since he was smaller, he gave in and he gave the money to the bully. So this, this occurred you know, frequently. The bully would always demand for the money. One, one day, this little boy decided it's enough. <laughs> no, it's enough. This, 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 
this cannot continue. This, this is just, this is, this is, no, this is enough. This is enough. And I want to ask you this morning, have you ever gotten to the point where you say enough is enough? <laughs> it's, it's enough. Maybe you're, you're sick and tired of, of some things in your life and you're saying it, it's enough. No, 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 no. This, this, this cannot continue perpetually. This, this cannot be again. And so the boy decided that he said it's enough. He decided to fight back. I'm going to fight back. And, and so what did he do? He started to take karate lessons. <laughs> I'm going to learn karate and I would give him a fight, a beating of his lifetime. But, but the karate instructor, the tutor, wanted $2 a lesson. Every time the boy goes for uh, the karate lessons, he, wa- he would have to part with $2. Oh, come on, that's a lot of money for the boy. Mm. And, and after consideration, after thinking about it, he thought it was cheaper to pay the bully than to learn to fight. Mm. Mm. It, was, it, was, it was cheaper. So he said, okay, let me, let me keep paying this guy. And, and allow me to say that many Christians find it easier to compromise. Yeah. Many Christians find it easier to compromise. They find it easier to pay the bully. They find it easier to pay the devil than learn how to defeat the devil. Okay. Mm. Whereas there are many tools at our disposal, whereas there are things that we could learn and do to defeat the devil sometimes, it, it, is, it is an easy path to learn, to compromise, okay? And, and let it be instead of rolling up your sleeves, instead of tightening your belt and pulling up your swords and saying, no, I'm, going, I'm going to fight back. Sometimes we, uh, we, we sit and we say, okay, fine, let it be. And we allow the devil to have a full day and a walk in, in our lives. Many Christians don't know that Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And and I wish this morning we would come to a realization that when Jesus Christ is on our side, then we are more than Congress, just like Paul says. Greater is he that is in us. And I I, I pray that you who is listening to me uh, this morning will, will rise up to the occasion and say, come on, I've got to fight back. Mm-mm. The devil cannot do this to me for long. You know, it's, it's enough. I'm, I'm sick and tired of being tired and sick. You know, I, you know, it, you know, it, it, it has gotten to a fever pitch. You know, it's, it's, it's enough. I, this, this should not continue. This should not go on. I've got to do something. And so I came this morning to tell you that you've got to learn to fight, my friend. You've got to learn to fight. You've, you've got to learn to fight. Don't throw in the towel, just like the boy who said, okay, let me continue paying the bully. No, 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 no. And and I want to call you out, my friend, if if you have given up, get back in the battle. If you have given up, get back in the battle. It's, It's not too late to win your fight. It's not too late, my friend, listening to me. Get your fight back and say, mm mm, I'm not going to compromise, mm mm. I'm not going to walk defeated. I'm not going to walk vanquished. I will rise up to the occasion and fight because there is someone who is fighting by my side. And that is Jesus Christ. I came to remind you this morning that you have Jesus on your side, my friend. And the song, right, that that should be a Negro spiritual, right on King Jesus, the conquering King. And I dare say that you and God together, you make a serious majority. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 37, which book did I say? Romans 8 and 37, the Bible says, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Come on, come on, we, that is you and myself, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. We have Jesus on our side. One of my favorite Bible verses is Exodus chapter 15 and verse number three. The Bible calls him 
Jesus, a man of war. Come on, I like that. You know, I like that. I like that. The Bible says in Exodus 15 and verse uh, 3, Exodus 15 and verse 3, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. And, and come on, and he's willing to fight for you. Come on, let him fight for you the battles in your life. I just got no idea what you are struggling with. But the Lord Jesus Christ is a man of war. Let him fight for you. And I dare say also, I dare say, sometimes let him also fight you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> him, Christ, fight me. Fight me, Jesus. There are some tendencies in me that are so destructive. Fight me, Jesus. I, I, I give you the permission. Fight me. Wrestle with me. Just like he did uh, to, to Jacob. Jacob was a supplanter. Jacob was a deceiver, a trickster, a con man. And Jesus Christ fought him that night. And his life was never the same. Come on, come on. Maybe you can go to the chat and say, Jesus, fight me. You, you are a man of war. Fight me, Jesus. Subdue me. Bring me to a point of surrender. Yeah. I used to like watching wrestling. And there were times that the wrestlers would, you know, tap out. That means that they are surrendering. They are saying it's enough. May, may Jesus Christ bring you to a point of surrender. As children of God, you have the DNA of an overcomer. Come on, you have a DNA of an overcomer. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse number 4. 1 John, that you have, a, you, have, you, have, you have some special DNA. 1 John chapter 5 and verse number 4. I'm reading from the New King James Version. That's my Bible here. The Bible says, for whatever is born of God, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. That means we fight. That means we fight. That means we, we don't give up. We fight. There's an, there's an overcoming to do. But if we are born of God, then the Bible says we overcome the world. And this is the victory. The Bible says, and this is the victory that overcomes the world. Our faith. Don't you know the song that says faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Let, let, let me bring you some news that, uh, that you already know, that Christianity is a faith, is a religion of fighting. Religion is a faith, is a path that we are engaged in a warfare. We call it again, the great controversy. And the book of uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12, 1 Timothy 6 and verse 12, 1 Timothy 6 and verse 12, the Bible says, Fight the good fight of faith. Come on, come on. So we are called to be fighters. That's why the, the, the title for this morning is Fight Back. We are called to be fighters. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you are called and about which you made the good confession. Take hold, fight. I'm calling upon you this morning to fight, my friend. Don't, don't compromise. Many people start so well, but as life moves on, as they get to the highway of life, then they began losing it. They compromise maybe through association. They compromise maybe through interaction. They compromise through observation. And, and sometimes they compromise because of persecution, that the difficulties that come upon us and, and we end up compromising. And let me say this, that you are expected to stand firm and fight. And I want to read from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 10 to verse 11. Ephesians 6, verse 10 to verse number 11, the Bible says, finally, now Paul has been making an argument. Now he says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. That means, you come on, come on, this, this, you, you're being called to fight. And I, I thought this morning I would, you know, incite you. I thought this morning I, I would cause you to rise up and say, mm -mm, I want to reclaim what the devil has taken from me. Come on, I want to fight back. I won't allow the devil, you know, anymore to, to have a field day in my life. I want to take you to the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17. David is sent to the battlefield 
The Bible says he arose very early. That's a trait of serious people. They arise very early and they talk to God and they attend to their duties. And, and he gets to the battlefield and Goliath has been making a challenge for the last 40 days and no one would dare face it. Uh, except this little boy who walks in and he says, please give, give me a chance, give me a chance. And, and David is my man, David is my man. I love to talk about David because I, I like the spirit that is burning inside him. He says, come, come on, give me this man. I, I like what he says in verse 32. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse 32. The Bible says, don't worry about this Philistine. I will go and fight him. Come on, that's an I will go moment. I will go and fight him. <laughs> and, and as he goes, I like what he says. Okay, he says, okay, Goliath, you come to me with a sword and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. I'm, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to deal with you in the name of the Lord God. Maybe today you need to face your issues in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe yeah. you're saying, this is, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Maybe you're saying temptation, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Maybe you're saying addiction, I come to you today in the name of the Lord. Maybe you are saying spiritual laziness, I come to you in the name of the Lord. You are willing to fight back. Come on, fight back. Yeah. Don't allow the, the enemy to ruin you don't allow the enemy to ruin the people in your life. Come on, your family is worth fighting, fighting for. Come on, your health mm. is worth fighting for. Your peace of mind is worth fighting for. Your family's souls and the souls of your friends are worth fighting for. And so this morning, maybe you're saying, no, I'm, I'm going to fight for something. I'm going to fight for something. I'm going to fight for someone. I will fight back. Maybe you want to tell that drug addict son or friend, I will fight for you. Mm -hmm. Come on. You, you've got to tell someone, I, 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 I will fight for you. Maybe you want to tell your daughter who, who is wayward, I'm going to fight for you. Maybe you want to tell your wife or maybe your husband or maybe your friend or maybe a former believer that, come on, I'm fighting for you. I'm praying for you. I'm, I'm agonizing with the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm in this thing with you. We, we're going to fight together. Fight for them until they see the need to fight for themselves. Yeah. Come on, fight back. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up, my friend. Did you know that for many years, David fought the Philistines? He contented with the same enemies, the same enemy that he met when he was a youth, Goliath and, and the Philistines. He kept meeting them. Come on, and I read that and I discovered there are some things in this life that we keep fighting against. We may get to a new level, but sometimes the same devil is still bedeviling us. We, we, would, we would think that now David is a king and he has to deal with other issues, but he still has to deal with the Philistines. Come on, and could, could you be having some battles in your life that you've been fighting since your youth? Come on, you were 10? <laughs> Then you go to 20, still, you thought you would graduate from those issues, but they are still pulling you and besetting and entangling you. And now you're 30 or now you're 40, or probably you're 50 or even 60. But, but the same tendencies, the, the same battles, uh, you know, the same evils are still mm. you know, pulling you behind. Come mm. on, could there be something that, that you have to fight? Come on, I'm, I'm telling you this morning, keep fighting. Don't surrender, my friend. Don't surrender. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, throw in, don't throw in the towel. Don't say, I, I have been on this thing for so long. I have been fighting this disease for a long time. I hey. have been fighting this addiction for a long time. I have been struggling with this issue for a long time. I have even been identified with this issue because it has mm. been my issue. And, and, and you are almost you know, giving up, throwing in the towel. Please don't do it. Keep fighting, my friend. Yes. I want to take you to the book of... Psalms chapter 71 and verse 16. Psalms 71 and verse 16. The Bible says, now this is David again. Now David is old. The first time we are meeting with David in the battlefield, he says, I will go and fight this foolish time. In 71 verse 16, he says, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I will go. He still says, I will go. Come on, this guy is old and he's not giving up. I will go. 
This is a psalm of David when, when he's too old, way too old, and, and, and now, by now maybe too slow a little bit, but, but he's still having the fighter spirit in him. And he says, I will go. That is to say that David dealt with battles all his life. Some battles we have to deal with, but we don't give up. We keep fighting. And someday we will say with, with, with Paul, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race and I have kept the faith. It, it, it's a battle. We are in a battlefield. And it's my impression that David says, I will go to the battlefield. Still, he says, I'm going to the warfare because he's a man of war from the time that we meet him. He says, I have been dealing with bears. I have been dealing with lions. And he dealt with Goliath. And he still says, I will go in the power and in the strength of the Lord God. There was, there was a fight in this old man. Come on, my friend, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep fighting, my friend. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Even though you go faint, keep fighting. Mm. And so this morning, I'm talking with someone who has come a long way and they think, no, this is too much. You have fought many spiritual battles and you think this is too much. You're tired and, 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 and you feel like hanging the boots. Please don't give up, my friend. Rise up and with David declare, I will go in the strength of the Lord and I will fight. Fight with prayer because that is our weapon. Fight with fasting. That is our weapon. So talk to God. You got an issue? Ask God, not Google. Deal with it. Asking God. And because God is going to help you as you fight with your issues. The songwriter says, when you call on Jesus, all things are possible. God has also promised that there are angels who are surrounding you. Psalms 34 and verse 7. And, and they encompass you to deliver you and, and to save you. May, may God send his angels to your aid. And also we have the blood of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. The Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. May Jesus give yes. you victory today, my friend. May Jesus cover your life today. May Jesus and, and his blood bless your family, cover your family, cover your business with his blood, cover mm. your job and cover your health. I want to pray as we get closer uh, to, to the end of this uh, presentation. May God be with you, my friend. May God be with you and give you victory. Dear loving Father, we thank you so much this morning for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, for loving us. We thank you, Lord, because you desire us to fight mm. because we are in a battlefield. But mm. God, we are not fighting on our own. You are a man of war and you have declared that we are more than Congress in you. Lord, keep fighting for us and keep fighting us. Mm. Grant us victory, Lord. This is our prayer, trusting and believing in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen and 